Hello? Knock knock. Hi. Ah! So, at this point, I'd say I'm pretty much a horror game aficionado. I'd say I'm pretty much a great person to play horror games. I don't think I'm- <laughs> I think I'm- I'm so good at playing horror games. Look, I've had a track record on this channel. Maybe in the past I've been afraid of horror games. Maybe that was true. But now, if you look at me now, after three years on this channel, the end of just happening last week. I think that I have grown to understand horror games in a sense that no other can. And that's why I'm here today to play another Fears to Fathom episode. This is an episodic horror game. Today is the Iron Vark Lookout. And you know what? These games may be based on true stories, but that there's no sweat. No sweat at all. Fears to Fathom, episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. The fact that all of these happen in the springtime or summertime, it makes sense. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Oh no, this is too close to my age. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience experience of my life. I'm not scared at all. I'm not scared at all. Scariest experience of my life, nothing compares to pooping in a public restroom. Nothing compares to that, so I'm not scared at all. Unless that's what this game is about. The iron poop. <laughs> Poop look out. I'm Jack Nelson. That's such a badass name. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. And we're on the drive. I don't like when I have to drive in these games. You can't give me that option because I will crash. What happens if I do crash? I should have taken it easy. Oops. Well, here we are. This is good. Where the trees are swaying. I'm driving and once again reading my text messages. Well, hopefully no one's behind me. I'm just gonna stop in the middle of the road. Uh, let's let's scroll up and snoop in, in Jack's messages. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, Ironwork Fire Department, Jack Nelson. That's me! They're staffing me to Ironwork next month. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? We don't have anything else from that. Uh, now Mitch Scott. Who the hell is this? Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a get away or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. Really, there are no cars on the road as I read all this. <laughs> Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. What does that mean? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the- on foot? I have to walk? No one said anything about walking. From there, it'll take you a couple hours until you reach your tower. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your idea. So, oh, look at my, look at my RV. Oh, look at this place. You don't get a better place than this. I got a little nook for reading. I got a little bed area and a lot of windows that I don't like right now, but I'm sure it's great during the day. I guess we could keep going. I like the solitary life. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay. 
What memories? 25's the speed limit? Well, I don't listen to- I can't read signs, so I don't listen to signs. Keep going faster. Drive this RV so fast, you can't even see the trees. They're just blurs. Oh god, there's a truck. Now I have to actually drive correctly. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god, why do I- I always get so many text messages in this game. Why am I so popular? Can't you understand people that I have a life and that I'm just trying to live in solitude? I don't want to answer my phone, so I'm not going to. I'm living with the woods. I'm like a tree, people. And if you can't handle that, then you can go screw yourself. Oh, we're at Roseburg now. Let's let's park. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. We should go to it. Oh, I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. There it is. Let's go get some food. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Ever heard of a turn signal? Well, that's my fault, actually. That it, you know what? I'm just gonna park over here. I'm not even gonna try to get in the spot. I'll just park in the corner. It'll be fine. <laughs> this is humiliating. I'm getting out. Well, I literally blocked myself in, so... <laughs> Jesus, that was the worst time of my life. Look at my RV! Now this is what I call a camper home. Oh my, look at that bad boy. Oh my god, beautiful. I'm so glad I also have license plates so that those drivers can write them down and sue me for how terrible I am at driving. Oh! That's a nice burger and a really, really nice comb over you got down the middle. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? You know what? Let's be nice to people this time. I feel like I'm always really cryptic, but I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything because I'm Jack Nelson and I have nothing to be afraid of. So I'm going to tell him the truth. I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, the three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A uh, creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in the forest. I would love if Bigfoot was there. Just gives me more experiences. I love solitude, but if Bigfoot is a part of it, we don't have to be in solitude. We can have a party. A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. Well, hopefully I come back so that we can have another really, really nice chat on the roof of your car while you slobber all over that burger, sir. Um, let's go inside. Oh, hi. Ew. Ew! Why are you so close to me? Have you ever heard of boundaries? Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I'm I'm good. How about you? Can you step back a few inches? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Please don't the service here, am I right? Please leave me alone. I guess not everyone's so talkative. Ooh. <gasps> I just changed the music. I'm taking over this diner. I can take any seat I like. Why don't I sit right here, right next to this boy? Uh, where should we sit? Should we sit at the bar? You look a little like- You look a little like you need a chiropractor. Oh. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at the nearby state park. Oh, that's great. Didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. Uh, next. Let's leave. <laughs> I don't want to talk to a finance analysis. I, I'm going to go sit somewhere else. Oh my god, wait, I can actually join this guy? Do you mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm just a staffer at Iron Bark State <coughs> Don't mind the coughing. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. Huh? I need to go. <gasps> Bathroom. I just dried my hands for no reason. This is what I do. I dry my hands and then I wash them. I'm also gonna pee with the door open. I told you I'm owning this diner. I'm putting my mark on this diner. <laughs> I do everything backwards. I dry my hands, then I wash them, and then I pee. That's piss. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? What can I get you today? My sister recommended the cheeseburger with fries, so I'm gonna get the she cheeseburger. Aha, uh -huh, our burger is the best in the we 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 east west. Would you like anything to drink? A large Coke, please. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll just hold this ketchup over here, don't worry. Oh my 
Oh, look, is that my food? Wow, that was great service. Wow, that's amazing. Ew, consuming. Ugh, I don't like that word. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this. Hold on, I'm gonna throw the ketchup away. Hey, I, I forgot to flush my pee before, just so you know. Okay. Oh yeah, Kayla uh, asked me if I was coming to the cider. Whoa, did you enjoy the food? It was great. I'll take the chat. I'll take the bell. Let's see what Kayla said. The food is so good. She said, told you, this food reminds me. You should send that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Wow, I have a great relationship with my sister. Here's a check. You're totally total is six dollars. What magical universe are we in that a burger, fries, and soda is six dollars? It's like six dollars for a napkin now. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah! Back outside in nature where I belong. Let's go back to our RV, I guess. Why is there a door on this side? Is that how RVs usually are? I don't know anything. Um, I, I didn't leave this open. But you know what? I'm not scared of anything, so it's fine. The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Weird. So weird that I'm gonna pretend that it didn't even happen and I'm just gonna keep driving. I'm gonna not look behind me, too. I hope nobody's trying to come kill me. Alright. Oh! Oh my god, I'm terrible at driving. It's not my fault, folks. There's someone in my bathroom. 8.02 p.m. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. I drove past the trail at first. <laughs> uh, I think they said I'm supposed to go by foot, so let's go by foot. No one gave me instructions. Flashback. So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know nature, and I don't know how to work as a park ranger, okay? It's fine. If I crash into someone, been there, done that, you know? Oh! Am I supposed to walk here, or am I supposed to drive? Alright, it's fine. We made it through. <laughs> okay, I'm here! I'm- I'm legitimately stuck. So I hope I don't need to take this car again. Cause it's not leaving. Hello? Knock knock. Hi. Ah! Sir! Holy moly, you scared me! I thought you were one of them! You scared me! Well, one of who? Let's ask a serious question. Also, literally, you did not need to do that. I knew you were here. I knew you were here. I said hello, and you didn't answer. Also, I was out there in my car trying to park for 30 minutes, and you didn't even see me! So it's on you, bud! Hey, Lord, have mercy. Dude. See, that scream, though, that scream, though, wasn't- it wasn't fear, it was surprise. Okay, so there's a difference. I'm not afraid. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Go check on that, Billy. There's always a Billy in these games. Okay, pal, you're, 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 you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Uh, am I supposed to walk? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long high to your lookout. You be careful. Take this. This seems like a fun excursion. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for your purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Okay, let's uh... Whoa! Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why, Billy? You throwing a rager without me? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it, Billy. I won't do anything. Oh man, I really parked wrong. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. All right, well, we gotta get to our tower. He said that uh, I left my bag in the RV at first. Well... <laughs> How much of a hike is it to this tower that we're having a blackout screen? 11.32 p.m.? It took me two hours to hike here? It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Bro, you're kidding me. I just hiked for two hours at 8 p.m.? What kind of person am I? No, there was nothing there. I got scared of the key in the corner. I mean, not scared. Surprised. I love how when I run, I go like, t -t 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 
that? I'm not very good with directions. Firebrook Tower 11 and then Gold Creek Trail. Okay, we're definitely going to the tower. There's no way I'm going on another trail after two hours of walking. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I don't. Utility shack? There's a shack over here? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh no, is that a porta potty? No! I don't want to have to use a porta potty. I'm a princess. Princesses don't use porta potties. Aww. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. So I just walked two hours in the woods. And now I have to ascend stairs? Once you're on the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Oh, these are like windows? If we gotta look for fires, I gotta keep these open, right? This is like a house that you make in Minecraft after one day of living. Inside my new home. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Wait, so I'm staying here for months? Forgot to turn the generator on at first. I gotta go back down the stairs and up the stairs and turn the generator on? Where's the generator? Oh, oh, here, here it is. There we go. If I have to come back down these stairs tonight, I'm gonna throw a fit. There's no way that my ankles and my calves can handle this. I'm not wearing the shoe. I'm wearing Louis Vuittons. I'm wearing high heel shoes. What's this? Oh, radio equipment was sitting at the wooden table. I don't know how to do any of this. Why was I qualified for this job? I'll go on the computer. Maybe they've got snake or something. Starting Rainbow 98. Oh, it's 1998. Password? Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. Well, I'll just try booty to be sure that's not it. Okay, well, that was wrong. So, system password is Iron Bark tower number okay we're in 11 so we got that don't steal my password don't log into my computer without asking you cannot play the barbie games that i have on here unless you ask first hello there it's smiley your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer day clickety click here's a random fact for you the amazon rainforest produces 20 percent of the world's oxygen it's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in generating the oxygen we breathe that sounds great smiley i got things to do though so maybe can i drag you in the bin no! trail map oh so this is where we are gold creek is that other trail and this is where we came from no it's not i'm lost i can't look at this <laughs> service reporting welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting so oh your name yet. What is it again? oh who, who is this I'm connor Connor! Connor! <laughs> Why am I flirting with Connor from Fire Tower 12? Thought I was gonna be alone out here. Oh, thank you. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh, it's Anyways, Jack. Jack Nelson. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse? Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, Connor really cares about me, doesn't he? I guess I gotta I get- see the smoke. Whoa. Did you light it up yet? Uh, no. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. <laughs> okay, thanks, Connor. What's that? What is that? Oh, there's no firewood? firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Okay, Connor. Anyway, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. I don't know what's going on. They really put the person who's the worst at anything, nature, and camping, and shoved her in this game. Can I just turn on the oven really high? No. Where do you- Oh, here's- This is where you put the- Oh. I need firewood. I need firewood. Fire 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 Let's just get firewood, start the fire, and go to sleep. At this point, we should just invite Connor to come over and have a slumber party. How am I supposed to start a fire? I may have done this in Pop Tropica, but that does not mean I actually know how to do it. I'm having such a hard time. Why? Why would I leave the matches right next to- right, Oh! I see it. I see the smoke. Thanks, Connor. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Great. I'm about to burn myself alive, though, because I left the gas in matches right by the fire. Did you report for the night yet? No, what does that even mean? Jesus, this is a lot to handle. I just got started on the job. Can I not go to sleep? Did you report for the night yet? No, okay, let me get to it. it. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay. Temperature. What is this? I'm supposed to report this? 
temperature in Fahrenheit, wind speed, weather condition. What does this mean? I don't know. Well, I know my name. <laughs> let's just, okay, let's take a second. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Let's read the rules. Maybe this will help. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. Dang it, Connor can't come over. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Damn it, no snake. Remember to call your, the, this, your sister station before you sleep. Does anyone have a guide on how to not get fired? <laughs> Maybe if I... Oh, here. This is for wind. I did something. How do I find the temperature? What if I lick my finger and put it in the air? What does that do? Does that do something? Oh, here. Temperature. 45.9 degrees. <gasps> I'm doing it. I'm doing my job. Uh, clear. There we go. Ironbark Forestry Service. Copy, new guy. Okay, um, Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Thank you, Connor. Bed bugs bite. Wait, are there bed bugs out here? I guess we're done for the night. Employee training, MP4. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Oh my god, Jacksepticeye? What did they do to you, Jacksepticeye? What did they do? Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Look, Jack Sepsky, this is great After and all, but data, I'm bored. <laughs> when I go to sleep, I should probably close these up, right? If I'm supposed to keep an eye out for fires, how am I supposed to sleep? That wasn't in the training video. Great, Kayla never sent me that uh, casserole recipe, which sucks, but I guess I'll go to sleep. I don't want to get fired. I really don't want to get fired. And I don't want a fire to happen. Uh-oh, 3.26 a.m.? Uh, unintelligible. Why the hell is it, like, weird? What is going on? I had to pee? Hold on, I'm scared. Static. Connor? On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Me too. Wait, space to pee? Wait, I can just pee sta- Oh my god, that's glorious. I could just pee off the tower. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I love life. Who knew peeing on the woods would give me so much glory? I feel like a king. I hope no one's down there to get peed on the head. Night two? Oh boy. <gasps> wow. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. I'm sipping on my little drink. Oh, I could take a photo. Beautiful photo with the birds. Oh! Put that on MySpace. I could take another photo? What am I gonna take a photo of? What if I just take it of Connor's tower? Beautiful. Maybe we'll fall in love. <laughs> That's so creepy. This is actually really nice. I'm here, Connor! Did you see the flash from my camera? Hey, Connor! Copy that, Connor! What's up? What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Right, Connor? I know, right? <laughs> like, when they don't get the- I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, when they don't get the permits, I'm like, Bleh. why would you do that? I get it, Connor. If anyone gets it, it's me. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Uh, let me have a look. Which way's north? <laughs> oh, that's north. Damn. The smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Okay. Okay, I'm- I'm coming, Connor. I'm- I'm enjoying my day, Connor. Yes, I see it. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Yeah, people like that, they better go in the lake. Fire risks are high this Am I checking okay. it out? Let's ask if there's any other detail. Information at the moment. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye okay. out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, I'll report. I'm headed north. I'll report back on it. Over. Stay safe out there. Okay. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Oh, okay. Over and out, baby. Ooh, this is fun. Also, wait, didn't the guy say not to go north of my campsite? Okay, bear spray and flashlight. I think that's all I need, right? I gotta go to the Lacey Trail. I have no clue which way that is. I don't know. Let's just follow the fire and hopefully everything will be fine. Wait. <laughs> Am I supposed to spray the bear spray at the bear or on myself? I don't know how any of this works. Okay, lacy trail this way. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Uh-oh, bears. <gasps> bears in area. I'm just gonna spray in front of me the whole time. Oh, 8.37 p.m.? I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Why did it take that long? I thought the sun was rising, not setting. I don't want to be out in the dark. I didn't sign up for this. Who was that? Uh-oh. Wait, should I crawl? Is there a bear? I, I'm not ready for this. No bears! No bears! No bears! Bears, be gone! Hello? No bears. Sorry. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? I got so many messages. Am I supposed to read them? I guess so. Why not? Oh my god. I'm getting so many messages. This is such a bad time. At least we got the recipe for the casserole. And if there's a bear behind me, maybe we can share. It's like Goldilocks. Hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see this. Sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector is very good service. Beautiful photos. I can't believe I actually sent a picture of Connor's tower. Is someone whistling? Uh... I just spray for good measure. There's no one in here. There's a campfire that's not supposed to be lit. I had to put it out. Let's get water real fast. Hopefully a bear doesn't karate chop my back. I need my spine. Thank you very much. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're not scared. Get my bear spray because that's very important. Just in case. You never know. What the hell is going on here, folks? Emergency closure trail obstructed. Who's there? I hear you whistling. Hello? Anybody there? Show yourself! Show yourself! You! If you're a bear whistling, I'm no Mowgli and this is not the Jungle Book, so you better get the hell out of here. The area beyond this site was closed. Well, buddy, it's your job to go make sure that they don't do anything bad. What is this? I can't just leave. Unless I just leave. <laughs> Maybe a bear will kill that guy. It's fine. I'm so confused. Uh... You better bet I'm not turning around. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Maybe Connor will help me out. I still got my bear spray too. Connor, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I, there was a guy in the woods and he, didn't, he was whistling. And then I didn't know if there was a bear. So I kept spraying everything and it might have gotten in my mouth. And I don't know what to do if you get bear spray in your mouth. And I'm just very, very frightened. 12 or 12, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first... Some hot... Dad. Excuse me? Okay, let's talk about the campsite. This is serious. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's scaring me. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. Teenagers? It's unbelievable. Was it... Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Damn. Anything else you notice in those woods? There was a scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Well, it didn't sound like a lady, it sounded like a man! I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. The kids? The kids that went missing, that's right! They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some... entities. What does that I mean? mean? Why do you wish they were true? At least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. What? Wait, did the person who did this before die? New guy. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No, I don't believe the rumors right. at all. <laughs> we can't tolerate these goons anymore. I agree. The goons have got to go. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated, baby. Will do. Over and out. We have like little things that we do, like little catchphrases, like we say over and out. It's like our thing. Me and Connor have a thing, you know? I guess I have to do my report. I guess I didn't really assist a hiker, did I? I got scared by one. Report submitted, I did it. Connor did his report like six minutes before mine. That's a sign, isn't it? No! Okay, let's check our messages. Oh, Kayla sent me more messages. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Oh, that looks so good. Oh no, my messages aren't being delivered. Oh, let's go. We're trying the recipe now, folks. Here we go. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, mara mara era era, marinara era, marinara era 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 era, marinara era 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 era. Where the hell is the marinara sauce? Marinara era. Never, never, ever. Maybe it's in here. Never, never, ever. Never, never. Okay, pepperoni, mozzarella, and diced tomatoes. Ew, that's not what I want. Pepperoni, here we go. Mozzarella, and I just need the never, never, ever. Ew, sardines. Disgusting. Put that back. Never again. Oh, there's marinara sauce. Oops, I left all my food on the floor. Oh, diced tomatoes? Where would diced tomatoes be? Or if they, like, milk milk. Ugh, none of this is what I need. I don't know where the diced tomatoes are. Well, maybe I just won't put any diced tomatoes in it. I'm missing something. 
I'm a fire iron bark lookout person, man. I'm not a chef, okay? If you want diced tomatoes, you gotta go to Connor's house and get diced tomatoes. Two hours later. Kayla, help. Where are the diced tomatoes? I'm trying so hard. I can't make the casserole without the diced tomatoes and I can't find them. Okay, well, maybe if I go outside and look for diced tomatoes. Uh huh. I lied. Maybe there are diced tomatoes in the woods, on the growing on the bushes. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go look and see if there's more food down there. Hey, anyone out here have diced tomatoes? A camper to camper. I really, really need diced tomatoes. You think they got diced tomatoes in the in this little cabin area? Uh, y'all. There's whistling. I'm taking some wood and I'm running. I don't care. I don't care. I just need diced tomatoes. Sir, if you don't have diced tomatoes, get the hell out of my space. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Connor. 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 I'm hopeless. I can't even do my job. I literally just need diced tomatoes. Oh, oh, here. I see. Oh, finally. Great. I didn't even need to go down there and hear that guy whistling, but I did it anyway, didn't I? What are you? An idiot sandwich. Okay, so that's 35 minutes. I didn't put a timer on. I don't- Ah! You there? I copy, I'm on my way. Connor, what is it? Uh, Ooh. The rest of the Good job, Connor! Okay, Connor! Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay! I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor! Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out, baby. <laughs> The smell of the fizzling, sizzling cheese. I liked eating in bed. Bro, this is the hottest pan I've ever seen in my life, and you're gonna eat in bed? Uh, I don't like this. I can't believe I heard the whistling guy. Why did I go down there? Why did I go down there and try to see if there were diced tomatoes down there? Who even thinks diced tomato grows on bushes? They obviously grow on trees. I feel absolutely disgusted right now. I don't want to do this or be here. Just close all these, please. I don't want to see any. Someone's climbing up. I just heard like the steps being climbed. No, we're going inside. I'm done. Sorry. Lights off. Lights out. Bedtime. Don't wake me up. No! Don't wake me up in the middle of the night. Huh? <gasps> There's someone outside. I got the bear spray. <gasps> there was something very strange about that night. Um, Connor. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm not scared, I swear. They left, they left, they left. It's fine, they left, it's fine, they left. Connor. Cutter, cutter, please. Cutter, help me. Oh, I could hide. Oh, my mic isn't even connected. What? Should I check outside? Um, let me just go to sleep. I felt a presence outside. What do you want me to do about it, baby? Let me just check outside. What the fuck? Oh, my bear spray scared me. <laughs> what? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. That's a great idea. Connor, Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Wait until morning. It's a skeleton! Skull! I don't think that this is kids messing around. No, what kid is like, let's get a skull and put a pentagram on it and put candles underneath? Who thinks that? This is serious. Exactly. Thank you. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. Okay. You can't do much in the dark. You're right. This is our first couple's quarrel, Connor. What? And we'll make it through this. Okay. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. 
Good night, Connor. Baby. Oh. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Good thing I closed these shades, though, last night. Otherwise, that would have been really awkward. It would have seen me laying in my fetal position. Night three. It's only been three nights and I've already had so many issues. I couldn't find diced tomatoes. Then Connor and I got in a fight. And then also the whole thing with the ritual thing outside my door. But that's the least of my worries right now. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the corner. What? Oh, we gotta clean this crap. Nasty. Hold on. This is... Who did this? My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Ew. Who made these this dirty? What kind of bird watcher went in the dirt? I think a bear actually used this. And shit on it, too. Like, this isn't even, like, normal. Whoa! That's not good. Is that the same area north? There's a flare, there's a flare, there's a flare. Connor, 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 Connor. Connor, 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 Connor. Connor. Is anyone there? I, I need Bro. help. Who are Please, you? Someone answer. Who is that? That's not Connor, baby boo. Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Calm down. Okay, okay. <sighs> what? is the situation. I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and okay. lost track of time. Okay. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Okay. I think I think I'm lost. Um what equipment do you have with I you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and and some of my camping equipment. What is your uh, current location? I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I can... This is, uh, preach it to the choir, brother. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but okay. no one's come yet. I saw it. Don't worry. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay. Uh, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay, what direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can oh, you help me? shit. I, gotta, I should have been listening. Wait, he said he's walking east because he walked west, or did he say he's walking west because he walked east? There's a stream, though. Okay, let me, let me scan the map. Hold on. Okay, wait, wait. I'm... <laughs> Okay, I'm Tower 11, North. Uh, hello? Wait! Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Okay, give me a second. I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I can't help you if you're talking to me. Hold on, okay. He said he's walking west. He said there was a creek. But was the creek on his right or his left? Maybe it's the Gold Lake. A stream. Okay, he said there's a stream. I'm Tower 11. Uh, back here is that way, but north is this way, that means, right? If he was this way, there's a stream, and I'm gonna just click a random mic because I have no clue. Which way is west? I think he's over here. He's gotta go to the right, right? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Oh, to Can get back to me? the trailhead? Hold on. <laughs> what is the trailhead? What is that? I can't do this! Who allowed me to get hired? Oh, if I do this wrong, I might get fired, but you know what? Maybe that's a good thing. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I've got no idea, man, but take the right trail. I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say oh, so, no! I want it is. No! I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I don't think you should thank me. I'm glad I never gave you my name because this was the worst advice ever. I hope you reach the trailhead safely. If you don't, you never talk to me. I'm right here. What? What do you mean? I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. <laughs> I just drove him to his death. That's on me. You're freaking me out. There's no way I'm answering that door. It's not me. I'm not in there. 
I'm not here. Oh, this is what I get for giving the wrong directions to people. I guess I gotta open the door, huh? Get the bear spray. Okay, just in case. Who is that? Well, here we go. <laughs> Oh, it's Billy! Oh my god, Billy. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I hid under the bed, then I put my thing away, then I got my bear spray, then I checked the window, and then I turned off the light, and then I checked the window again, turned it back on, and then I got to you. That's why, sorry. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was a- s uh, should I lie? I don't want them to know it was me. No, let's be honest. Maybe they can help. I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, hey, the Lord Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go, I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. I'll take them, thank you, Billy. Billy, uh, I think I made an oopsie, I'll be honest with you. Uh, what were you doing there last night? What do you mean, up north? Why were you there? What do you mean, up north? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was, oh right, he told me not to go up north and I did for Connor. Oh, I'm such a simp. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. I hope so. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been here and you've been a bit on edge. Everything all right? I'm gonna mention the skull to Billy. I think that he's on my side. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Is that all you say, man? Come on, give me some information here. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No, because I'm so so silly and didn't think you know it's best we don't dwell on these things pal besides we can't do anything without the evidence anyways it's getting late better get going now just keep watch thanks for the supplies oh my god i i'm terrible i just killed a guy i just got a guy killed i guess i could eat that casserole now what? I gotta do my report? Well, campers helped. Zero. I had to report the night before preparing to sleep. I know, I'm trying to close the windows, bucko. It's called taking charge of your life. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I killed, I killed somebody. somebody. Let's go to sleep. I don't care if there's no fire. Oh, dude, don't tell me I gotta go get wood for the stove. Get him wood for the stove, no fear. This is just my job. This is how things work. I should have bought my bear spray. I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. I'm running. I'm scared. I'm running. I'm scared. I'm running and I'm scared and I'm running and I'm scared and I got the thing thing and I'm running backwards, please. Ah! Ah! What the hell? Who are you? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Is it routine maintenance to come over here and make me shit my pants? Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Have they been talking about how I killed a hiker today? Have they been talking about that already? Does news travel that fast? Everyone's so bored that they're just talking about how I murdered somebody? Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? I, I agree. Fire, fire risks are high this season. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. Okay. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember. What? Remember what? Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Okay. Farewell, Jack. Okay, the guy gave the creepiest vibes. The hell did he even come from? Where'd he go? Where did he come from? God, I know I'm going upstairs. I better not have to poop in the middle of the night because I am not coming down here. I will poop off the side of the tower and I don't care who sees my butt cheeks. And I hope that Connor's looking out from his tower and he's using his thing and he just sees my butt cheeks flapping in the wind. You know what? Maybe I should just... Connor, you should have answered that call the other day about the guy in the forest, and now I'm gonna be in trouble for his dad. You got me now. Loud and clear. Uh, finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? 
Now, Connor, baby, that's not the response you say to someone when they just talk to someone. So, who? The guy maintaining that nearby t radio tower? Is this about yesterday? What? You're trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Um. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair costs were deemed too costly. Um. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. No time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. But he knew my name! He knew your name? You think he's been listening? I don't know! Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Okay! Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure, okay! Anyway, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor! Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out! Ew, I'm going to sleep! I don't like this! My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later? How did I even survive that many nights? 9.18 p.m. I'm literally shivering. Oh, it's raining. I'm listening. Hello. Good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Oh, great. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. I really hope they added Snake on this no one. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. I know, you're so old-fashioned, Connor. That's why I love you. Dare I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. A young man like me? Ooh! System update. How do I run a system? What is plague.exe? <gasps> there is a game! Oh my god, this is a zombie game. Ah! I died. How do I, uh, immediate flash drive? Oh, there's more? And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you- No, thank you. I'm good. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross. Ugh. With you. Today, I got it's so cursed. Paint. It's not even funny. So called testicular green. Ew. Here we go. Oh. System's now up to date. <laughs> Forgot to turn the generator on. Okay, yeah, that's really fun and great, but you gotta pick up that flashlight, honey. It's not letting me pick up a flashlight. No, the bear spray's not here either. How am I supposed to survive in this in this climate? I guess I'm going down, raw dogging it, raw dogging the night. Turn it on. Ran out of gas. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I got drenched in the rain. I hate you. I'm closing my eyes. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Back out the door. Back out the door. Turn around. Don't look at anything except for the the, the spot in front of you. Put it in the generator. Here we go. Now I'm going up and I'm leaving. I really had to pee? Just pee off the side of the thing like you've done before! Pee. Go ahead. Do it. Fine. Close the goddamn door. Nothing like peeing with gasoline in here. They really want me to open this door, huh? I'm going out. I'm running up. It doesn't matter. 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 <sighs> One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. Or we could just come to together, spend time together. Why didn't he come visit me? When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. No, 2.34 a.m. Come on, Connor, why'd you have to leave me? <gasps> Connor! I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. Copy. I copy. I got you, babe. I got your back. I'm the most trustworthy person ever. Hey. You copy. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Okay. But now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like uh -oh. a camper. It appears to be in your sector. Do you see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Let me have a looky looky baby bookie. <gasps> you know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Oh, thanks, Connor. If they don't run away this time, take your photos and IDs. Okay. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. 
Okay. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay, so I've gotta go check. It's down there. Okay, so I've gotta go that way, whatever way that is. I don't know how to tell direction, Connor. You can't do this to me. I got my flashlight. I got my bear spray. I'm ready to use it. And go. Didn't feel safe going downstairs? Oh, maybe if I just look. Let's just look. Maybe... Um... What? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it? What kind of evidence? What the hell was that? Were they just as goats? Do I want to know? Space to take a photo? Oh, honey, say cheese. Oh, that does not look good. Take the photo. <gasps> oh, my God. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. I don't care who that is. Stop. Get inside. What are you doing? Get inside. Turn off the light. Uh, uh, what do I do? Should I try to get to Connor? No, just get up. Go on. Go under. Go under. Go under. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just stay here. How did they get there so fast? Okay, I'm quiet. I don't know if the mic. I don't think the game can hear me, but I'm scared anyway. I'm just gonna be quiet anyway, just in case. Was I supposed to do something else? Am I supposed to run? Am I supposed to run? I mean, I'm getting up. I had to make a run? I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Huh? I'm running! <laughs> go, 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 go! He said, huh? He said, huh? huh? Like that cat. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. If only I had my RV, I could get out of here so fast. Run! Run! What the hell's happening? What the hell? What the hell? Oh, am I supposed to run and hide in the in the porta potty? Bro, I can't believe this. Like, caught in 4K, well, more like 2K. Like, take a picture, baby. Make it last longer. What if I get the worst picture, my thumb is in it. <laughs> Dude, that's <gasps> disgusting. We're going in here and we're hiding. I should have grabbed the bear spray. God damn it. Oh, you can hear them climbing up the steps. It's so gross. Bro, get out of here. You're not welcome. This is my place. I don't have any casserole left. Okay, nice boots though. Okay, I'm going. I'm making a run for it. Shh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, oh, he saw me, he saw me. Go, 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 go. I'm going in the porta potty, I'm going in the porta potty. Don't worry, 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 don't worry. It's fine, go inside. No. What the fuck is this? You can't tell me I'm gonna run for it. He's right here. Oh, once he goes over there. Should I run? I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. He won't find me. He won't find me. He won't find me. It's fine. I'll just go down the trail and it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm making it out. I'm making it out. It's fine. I'm not going to see anything. Don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. I'm just running straight. This is going to be a two-hour hike away. I don't know why I'm doing this. Holy sh... I'm still playing? Billy? Billy? It was locked? Get in the RV. Ah! Bro! Bro! Get in the RV! Get in the RV! Get in the RV! 
in the RV! Oh, fuck! Get in the RV, baby! Get in the RV! Get in the RV and drive away! Get in! Ah! Okay, go, go, go! Drive, drive, drive! It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter how! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. But didn't I get a photo? Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Jesus. Oh my god. How did I survive that? Oh my god. Note to self, never step foot in nature ever again. <laughs>